hey guys welcome back to my another video this in this video i'm gonna create this the add uh, functionality and i'm gonna do a post request to our api which i created which we created in a previous videos but in a previous video what we really did with we created a navigation bot so whenever we click on each of navigation then it's it goes to the different different route that what we did and it is it, data is also coming through the api so in this video we're gonna add the add here component okay we already create the add component on our previous videos but we haven't created any of this uh, the uh, that's HTML or any of this uh, the the post request stuff like that so we're gonna create on this video so the first thing is let me create the header and inside the header I'll just create as h1 as called the add talks okay so basically it will add your talks so on after the header I will create something called add talks uh, add talks a div container inside this i will create something called content and here now i will create a form okay and the form what's the form is going to be i don't need an axon so i'll just remove it so now i need a form here so the form we are using the material design so i'm gonna grab these examples here such as like this one okay so what i'm gonna do is i need to add a couple of the modules before i create it uh, before i grab this code before i use this uh, math form fields or math labeled stuff i need to get a, a modules from materials so we already created a materials modules in our project so i'm just gonna put it here the materials form field okay so i'll import it and i will export uh, export as well so the, my the component modules can use this so for i'm gonna do exact same thing for another one modules what we need here is a models match input field i guess input mad input modules modules okay so now let me import that as well from materials from input okay so that was it so once i have these modules i'm gonna put it here oh not here i'm gonna i need to put it on on the next line here okay and i'm gonna put it on the next line here so now it's here math input modules which i put it so now i can grab that uh, the the code from the materials such as like this field and I'll, I'll copy this code and now i could able to use it here so once i use it here and it will show it here if everything works fine here it is so if i click it here it shows up so there are a couple of things i don't even need it so i'll just remove that okay so i don't even need the legacy stuff so this should be a title okay this should be my first uh, the field that's what i needed and it's here title okay of course we need to add our own css custom css to to make it look a little better so for now i'll just leave it like this for materials here okay so now the next is next is we need to type okay so for a type what we need is we need uh, another component here it's a drop down okay it's a select or option so we need this one match select module so now we need to do exact same process so i'll just copy this and i will go to the materials which is here i will paste it and i will use these modules and i will put it here and after that i'll close this i don't even need it now so I'll make it a little bigger here and what i need in example i can see this this is the example of the select so i can copy this materials fields and i will paste it on the uh, html file here and i will put it inside the below here i will just paste it okay looks like this is binding with the form control stuff which i don't even need a form control at this time so i'll just delete that and this is the form fill appearance fill the uh, topping instead of topping i want a type and here maybe it looks like they are doing some the logic here which we don't even need this kind of logic here and this is a multiple select okay it looks like it's selecting the multiple thing we don't want the multiple select at all so i don't want this i just want the math options okay and here looks like it's a looping the uh, type what are the uh, looping the some data so i don't want this data as well i'll just put a test for now just to see that this will work or not so now let me see is that what will work or not yep it is so it's here the test okay it's working of course it is on the same line and yep we need to work with our css a little bit later on right to, to, to do that so let me add a couple of the more css so it looks a little better so i'll go in add component 
and I will in the add talks which I have it here add talks here in the first let me do some padding before I do something here because I know it's it's it doesn't have any padding here so let me add some padding so I'm like 10 pixel 12 pixel 0 and 12 pixel so now let's see how the padding looks like so if I save it so this is okay now it looks a little better with the padding stuff now the header let me work a little bit on the header side as well so on a header let me add some background color here like a grace color so this should be a f3 uh f3 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 f5 and fa okay so now my header now my header i will see some background color here see good so far so now in a header at our h1 let me give some padding as well again so a couple of the padding so it will go up to oh, everywhere up down left right okay so i will add here the padding here for this one so it looks like those okay looks a little better now so now in a material form field which is a, this one right this is a material form field so what i'm gonna do is each and every of the material form field i want some weight to be here 100 so it's, it's, it's gonna cover the 100 percent of it it's in every time so now it looks like this okay looks a little better now perfect fine and the only one thing what and then another thing what we need is let me add a couple of the more uh the component here so we added the uh, this so now let me add a date picker so where is the date picker they have a date picker as well so here is a date picker so in, of course it uses a material this i need to input this modules again because uh, this is a different modules so the date picker use it i will put this one modules and i will paste it here and i will put it again here and here so now i do have this modules so now i could able to use it so now how to use it just go in examples and go to the code you will see it here so i'll just copy this code and put it right here on the bottom and just uh, yep materials form field material form field put it on the bottom bottom here right and i don't even need this class i don't have it and choose a date so now i need to change so let me go here and see if i see any issue or not if i go it here looks like i have a couple of the issue no provider is found for that adapter it says that no okay we need to add a couple of the things here it says no the reason behind is is uh let me see what we need doesn't need from here looks like everything is we need then first let me change this to the uh, due date okay do that and this should be a picker and we don't want this button to open something else so i'll just close this so now let me check okay now see we'll see any issue let me go to the the next page which is this one okay we still see some issues it says the no provider found for the adapter looks like we need to add a couple of these provider okay we, we got this error here whenever we go to the uh, add then we will see this error here uh, no provider has been found because we need to add not only a date picker modules but we need to add another modules as well here we need to add it a mat native native date modules which has not been uh, mentioned on the on the site but somehow i don't know why but we need to add this from the material core as well it's called mad native date modules and we need to also import and export now we will not see that issue if i go to the add then yep we will not see that issue we don't have that issue but we don't have a date picker we need a date picker right we will add or we will change i mean we we're gonna change this to date picker toggle okay this should be a date picker toggle here instead of the a date picker by itself so here i'm gonna do as a date picker here and save it and once i save it let's see okay we have still a couple of the issues so let's see 
uh, I think the best way is to go in a material in angular again and grab that uh, the, the date picker I think I picked the wrong date picker before so now let me go back to here okay looks like yep this is the date picker which I needed so I'll just grab this instead of picking uh, fixing this stuff I'll just grab this and put it here and I'll just change this to new date okay and save it and so now, now let's see that yep we it's working right here and if I click it here it shows me a date perfect so this is what we needed so now the last thing what we need is here on the bottom is we need a text area okay so now let me go here and check the text area if there is a text area what we need to show up here is the input field and in the input field it looks like this and if I go in API, I um, mean example here, uh, here it is a couple of the examples what we can use, what are the input fields supposed to do. But we need a text area for that one. So for a text area, you know what, I'm going to grab this exactly the same one here. And instead of input type here, right, input, I will, I will change this to text area. Okay. And I will close uh, the... Uh, close this to by the text area here okay and instead of title it should be a description okay so I'll just leave it as a description here and I will just save it and now I will go and check how it looks like okay it looks like this in description but what we need is we need a couple of the CSS here such as in a field uh, text area that was what it called the fixed text area we need uh, the in text area we need a little bit more a uh, width uh, sorry height the height let me do a five 250 pixels so this looks a little bigger oh it doesn't look bigger because you know what I'll just save it let me see Okay, the CSS doesn't even work on the field dot underscore text area. So now let me grab this text area one more time. Uh, fill. It's a mat form field. Oh, it's not a form field. It should be a mat form field. Some class like this. So I'll just use this. Right. And I'll just make this as an important just to make sure that this class will add it the style was supposed to add it on, on the, my description it doesn't work okay it doesn't work but you know what i'm gonna change this to this and i'm gonna put that the text area so let's see how it looks like now okay it looks like this which is good well wow, everything looks good now i need to add a button on the bottom so let's add the button okay so we are here so we need a button for that so let me add a button and this button is also coming from material by itself you can grab the code or you can type it it's really up to you so here is a submit button i want and this is the mat mat raised button and the color should be uh, let me do as as a primary primary color okay and let me save that so see how it looks like okay looks like I f forgot to write a submit here so now let's see how it looks like here it is the submit button is here it doesn't do anything but it's, it's here but we have to fix couple of CSS stuff such as like here is a gray, gray background which we want to remove it so how we can remove it is basically we will add some style on the top of this so we will go in the uh, style.css we want to put this as the uh, globally and I, while we are here we'll just let's change a couple of the things here okay we don't want anything like that we want something padding should be a zero and margin should be a zero and we also want the uh, border border block uh, sorry box sizing box sizing as a border box and now we will add the uh, CSS for to remove this the gray background okay to remove a gray background we need to add uh, something called in a mat form right field flex we need to add a background here okay 
background co color white as important so we don't want to see that gray in our project if I hover it then of course yep where is it okay now it's been removed let me add the padding left to zero as important as well um, okay now it's padding left it is a couple of padding so now it's not it's perfect places so okay in next video what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bind this form to a reactive uh, form on angular and we're gonna post uh, the our talks uh, in our apis and thank you very much for watching this video guys i hope you guys learned something new and uh, yeah i'm gonna create a lot of these uh, full stack videos in my channels and then the place to subscribe thanks